Hi everyone, welcome to Pretty Peacock's Nursery. Um, I wanted to jump on and do a video, um, name reveal video for my little one that I just recently uh, got. And um, he is such a sweetie. I love this baby. He is the Lola Sculpt by Phil Donnelly. And um, I absolutely love him. We're going to take that out so you can see him. I mean, I just cannot get over this baby. I cannot get over his eyes. I cannot get over his hair. I mean, this baby has such beautifully painted hair. I mean, I've never seen such beautifully painted hair is what he's got. Um, his artist is Marari. And um, I have bought, this is my fifth baby I have bought from her. Um, I guess it's kind of like when you find an artist you like, you just, um, continue to, to go to them. Um, she paints beautifully. Um, I absolutely love her. I love working with her. Um, so this is my fifth baby from her. And he is just gorgeous. Um, but I'm gonna change him into, um, another outfit. And, um because he's in his pajamas, um, and do his name reveal. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start changing him. Um, I uh, was trying to come up with a name. I went through several, several names, and, um, you know, I was going to name him Sebastian, but then my daughter decided that she was going to start calling him something else, and I forget what it was, Socrabtion. She kept calling him Socrabtion, and I was like, okay, well, if that's what she's going to do, I'm not going to name him Sebastian. So, <laughs> anyway, because um, my daughter has to be silly about everything. So, anyway, um, so, but I, I do enlist my daughter in helping me name my babies sometimes, because she does come up with some good names. So we went through a bunch of names and um, I wanted to take a name that she wasn't going to like. I don't want to say make fun of, but, you know, just not be silly about. So anyway, so we have decided to name this little guy Mateo. So, uh, which means gift of, gift from God. And so his name is Mateo. So meet Mateo. I'm going to turn his head this way um, so you can see him. All right, and I'm going to put him in... Um, this little onesie that says, just like my daddy, and, um, then this pair of overalls, which says handsome on it and has a little frog on it, which I'm sorry, the, the little overalls need to be ironed because they got washed and so they're a little wrinkled, but... <laughs> Um, it's still, I've had this on him before and it looks cute on him. So we're just going to put this on him and get him ready for the day. Um, his little quilt that he's laying on was actually made by my grandmother. Um, my grandmother has passed on. She, she passed away, uh, quite a few years ago. Um, in fact... She's been gone almost 24 years now because she died in 95, which that's the year I got married. She died in October of 95, so almost 24 years she's been gone. And um, she made this quilt, not for me, but she made it for our next door neighbor of the, the people were, that I grew up next door to. And um, so let me show you the quilt real quick. I'm going to move him. So it's just like a little white quilt. It's got little teddy bears on it, and then it's got, you know, little animals. And you can tell, you know, it's 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 older, you know. But um anyway, she made it for a next door neighbor of ours who was having a baby. And I was still, you know, like a teenager or preteen when this was going on. And then um I um when I got pregnant with my first baby, um, quite a few years later, um, this 
neighbor of ours had kept this quilt that my grandmother had made and she gave it back to me. She said, since your grandmother made this, I thought you might want to have it. And of course, that just like warmed my heart very much so because it was something my grandmother had made and she didn't have to give it back to us. But, you know, she said, I thought you might want it. You know, you're having your first baby. Your grandmother made this. I thought you might want it. So, of course, I willingly took it. And so it's, even though it wasn't made for my children or for me, it's got great sentimental value to me because my grandmother made it. And I grew up next to my grandmother. Um, her house was right next door to ours. So I spent a lot of time with my grandmother. So having this is just really a treasure for me. My husband must be home because my dog's down there barking. So here he is. Look at him. Isn't he handsome in this? Just like his outfit says. Also, uh, I am getting another new little one into my nursery. Wasn't expecting to, but uh, found a baby that was very inexpensive, and it's a sculpt that I really like, and I have always liked. I've had one before, but I sold him, so um, I'm getting another one. So, I won't say what the sculpt is until I do my box opening video, which will probably be sometime this week. Um, but I cannot wait. So, he should be here this week. And um, can't wait to get him. So, um, I think that's all for now. Um, Mateo says goodbye. And I hope everyone has a great Monday. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye now.